All right, today we're going to do a quick video on our tensile cut one. Now, the point of this machine is to take strips of your material, in this case today we're going to be doing a piece of aluminum, and it makes samples out of them for ASTM testing, or whatever testing. Uh, now, in this case, we load our sample right into our template. Uh, this is a half inch capacity template. You can load in up to a half inch capacity worth of materials depending on the hardness. Plastics, aluminums, you know, some of your softer stuff, half inch no problem. Some of your harder materials, you're going to want to think about how much you put in there. That's something you'd have to try and see how it goes. But that's it. That's our template loaded up just that quickly. And after we go through, I'll show you it'll come out just like that. Now, uh, a couple things you should be aware of. This is our, as I said, our tensile cut one machine. This is our most basic model of machine. This is a tabletop model. Uh, you'll, you will want to have it probably bolted to a table or something of the sort in your lab. It doesn't get a whole lot of vibration or a whole lot of noise, but always something to be aware of. Also be aware, these particular machines, you do have, the, there will be chips coming off of them. They don't tend to fly around all over the place, but anytime you, wear, you have chips coming off, you should be wearing safety glasses and other protective equipment. Now, uh, this particular machine, as I said, is our most basic model. There is no vacuum slot. If there were, you wouldn't have to worry about the chips as much. And there is no mist on this particular one. Uh, both of those are things you can get put onto these machines. Uh, they are also included in our higher end models of machines, uh, so you can do that as well. Now, uh, after I turn on the machine, I'm going to be running it back and forth across the cutter head, just like that, and then you'll see me turning this knob back here. This is, a, this is your adjustment knob. Because this is aluminum, I'm gonna be taking a lot off per pass, relatively speaking, so it will go very quickly. If you're trying something harder, it will, you know, you'll have to take shorter, smaller passes to make sure you don't get any kind of uneven cut. Uh, but this should go pretty quickly, and let's go ahead and do it. And that's actually it. This sample is now all ready to go for your testing. And I'll show you. And that's just gone ahead. And we have two samples. Now these all come out exactly identically out of the machine. There is a stop on here. I don't know if you saw, but as I came to the end there, it simply ran up against a stop and the control head stopped moving further back. So you don't actually even need to, as long as this is set and not moved, you don't even need to mic them after they come off. You can for your peace of mind, and I'm sure your testers will before actually testing them, but it just comes to a stop and that's it. These machines are made to be very simple, very easy to use, and that's pretty much it. As I said before, uh, you have a little bit of debris here, a little bit of chips, but again, that's not a big deal. Just have a quick air hose around to brush that off or get one of the models with a vacuum in it and you'll clean up your mess pretty easily. And I guess that'll do it for the demonstration on this machine.